I'm Stephen Foskett, the organizer of Tech Field Day. We're here in Austin, Texas with Platform 9 Systems. Around the table are a group of independent writers and speakers who specialize in enterprise technology. They've been brought in from around the world to ask questions and learn about this technology. To find out more about Tech Field Day, go to techfieldday.com. And to see more videos like this, go to youtube.com slash techfieldday. Okay, we have a lot of ground to cover today. We, have, we are going to be talking about our two flagship products are on OpenStack, Kubernetes. We are, going to be talk, we are going to be talking about our serverless, serverless framework called Fission, a brief introduction to what we do on behind the engineering, on how we support our customers. And there is a special announcement at the end. But before that, let me talk about Platform 9. For those of you who don't know, uh, Platform 9 was founded in 2013, ex-VMware, including myself. My co-founders, uh, Suresh Raghuram, Madhur Maskaski, and Bickley have been at Tech Field Day in the last two years. Um, all ex-VMware folks, we have done almost everything at VMware. Uh, interestingly, Bickley was employee number 19 at VMware. And the other day, he was talking about a server called as GSX. I do not know how many of you remember that. But that was interesting. <laughs> Uh, we have, uh, our team has people from Meraki, Hortonworks, uh, GE, Microsoft, so on and so forth. <clears throat> Over the course of the last three years, we have been recognized, honored with many awards. Last year, we were awarded Gartner Cool Vendor 2016. I do not know of any company in the OpenStack area which have been awarded that. Honored to have all these awards. But what really keeps me going is the customers, are the customers. Last year when we came here, we had about 10 to 15 customers. Today we have over 50 enterprise customers. Just think about it. Four times growth in one year. What's more interesting than that is how satisfied those customers are. So I have this NPS score of 91, Net Promoter Score. I don't think a lot of companies have that. And this is what keeps me going every day. Well, let's move forward on to what we think cloud infrastructure and where cloud infrastructure is heading. And I would like to hear your thoughts, comments, questions on, on this subject. But let me walk you through what we think where the cloud infrastructure is going. Well, we obviously had physical machines, virtualization, thanks VMware, IS with AWS, OpenStack, CloudStack, Containers are coming in, microservices, cloud-native applications. And on the horizon, we see AWS Lambda, serverless. And I'm going to be talking about how Platform 9, and we are going to be talking about how Platform 9 is relevant in this journey of IT organization who move from virtualization to IaaS to containers to serverless. Now, all those trends are great. Great technology, developers love them. But IT got to support it. So now you have legacy infrastructure for with virtualization. Now your Linux servers, you have VMware running. Um, a development team wants to run containers. And oh, we have public cloud as well. And on top of that, a lot of these infrastructure are based out of open source software. What can you do? Well, you can build it yourself. You can hire professional services to get it done. But what we believe at Platform 9 is we need to be delivering these services and supporting it day in, day out, really as an extension of your company. This is our manifesto. We make cloud infrastructure easy by delivering it as a software, as a service. We enable enterprises to easily manage their cloud infrastructure on their private data centers, on their public clouds, and using best of the breed open source cloud native frameworks. How do we do it? Well, let's say you have bare metal, you have <coughs> VMware, you have public cloud, and maybe you want to run containers. Platform 9 is going to be able to manage them all. You, be, you will be able to use Platform 9 to not only run virtual machines on your Linux, on your Linux host, on your VMware host, using OpenStack, you can also use OpenStack to run virtual machines and monitor virtual machines 
on the public cloud, be AWS, Azure, or GCE. On the container side, we have, we have picked Kubernetes. We think that's an awesome framework. And that framework will let you manage containers on any of the public clouds, but also on bare metal. And by the way, this is all supported as of today. On top of that, the services, OpenStack and Kubernetes, which are open source framework, are managed remotely by Platform 9 using the Platform 9 cloud. We monitor it 24 by 7. We proactively look at the issues that might be happening. Your host is down, or your 10 hosts are down. You will get a call from us. You will get an email from us. We will upgrade it for you. There are security patches. There are new releases every six months. Kubernetes is even actually running faster than six months. Every, every few months, there are new releases. We'll upgrade it for you, zero downtime. We are the experts at it. We manage it for you. And obviously, we support with any patches or, or fixes. Uh, we add services to it. This is um, a slide showing just selected few customers. And you can see we are all over the place. We have managed service providers who are supporting their customers with Platform 9. We have media, uh, large enterprises, Blue Cross Blue Shield is using us. Airbus is using us. And obviously, we have high tech, uh, likes of Splunk, Box, a bit tight. Some of them are using OpenStack. Some of them using OpenStack with VMware. Some of them using OpenStack on public cloud. And some of them are using Kubernetes to run containers on public as well as private cloud. So uh, broad, broad range of customers.